Nero like Excel anti peel. It protects you from protects the house from peeling off of the paints, the cracking of the paints, and gives good antifungal resistance. But we are not only committed to release products and release innovations. We are committed that we should build a much more larger conscious. Hence, we initiated Nero like Earth Matters that was started in the year 2010. Today, the initiative has traveled across 47 cities. We are in the 48th city today. It has traveled for four years, and with each year, it is starting extravagant uh, feedback from people like you who've made it a success here. We started we, with one-to-one -one presentation. Today, we will be hosting an interactive panel discussion here to actually discuss what Ms. Sangeeta Singh also said, what is it, the ambiguity of sustainable architecture? How can we resolve some of them today? The Facebook page which is initiated or relegating Earth Matters, it today holds 25,000 members who have actively contributing and we've moved Earth Matters beyond the borders. <coughs> While we believe that as we walk on the sustainability journey, we hope we do not walk alone. It is professionals. For me, whoever I meet, professionals like you are the doctors of the field. Hence, we intend that we should work together. With this, we have started Nero Life Arc Edge, a loyalty program for the architects where benefits arise with the VOC credits that you contribute to the environment. I will now leave with a small quote which says, we need to paint a better world, articulate a better future. That does not involve Beautiful consumption. Thank you. Thanks to that great presentation. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, yes, it is very important to actually address, you know, sustainable architecture because uh, you know, we all believe that it is almost nascent when it comes to our country, when it comes to India. And uh, it is a pleasure for me to introduce you to our keynote speaker for the evening, Mr. Dipain Gada. Ladies and gentlemen, Dipain Gada and Associates, which is popularly known as DGA, began as a very modest architectural and interior design firm. And gradually with time and every project accomplished, DGA evolved into a civil and architectural planning and attained the position as one of the reputed firms in Baroda. The principal designer and founder of the firm, founder of the firm, I'm sorry, Mr. Dipain Gada holds a bachelor's degree in civil engineering from MS University. Since its inception in 1993, DGA has made its presence felt through innovative and timeless designs. DGA has achieved several awards and recognitions nationally and internationally. So please put your hands together and help me to welcome our keynote speaker here with us this evening, Mr. Dipain Gada. It's a pleasure to have you here with us, sir. Thank you for joining us. Narolek and uh, ITP. Basically, uh, I was just worried. When I came here, uh, there was a big poster of Javed Ali everywhere. <laughs> so, and, and frankly, uh, I'm a big fan of Javed Ali. So, my office told me that please sir, go Javed, <laughs> Javed Ali. <laughs> that I, I, I was having my doubt that whether the people will be there in the audience or not. <laughs> But fortunately, I'm looking at it, okay, fine. Even my seat is now going to occupy it. <laughs> so, thanks to the nearby city, which was not of my interest. And then when they say Bhuvaneshwar, I said, okay, let me go to Bhuvaneshwar. So, uh, thanks. And uh, I'm really, I've enjoyed the wonderful city of Bhuvaneshwar. I hope that uh, the uh, audience is more with architect and interior designer, because, uh, my presentation is not too serious about green, but it is saying that greed is a practice. Greed is an attitude. And everywhere, I feel that this is a new movement which is taking place, which is having pros and cons. Lots of uh, happenings are there. But at the same time, I really appreciate the effort of Narolek and ITP that these kind of things are keep on repeating and that is what is needed so that there are lots of uh, discussion happens and that is how people will come to know about the real green because what I felt many of the green are red initially in terms of costing 
in terms of uh, availability, in terms of knowledge and everything. But I believe that many of them are ended with the real green in future and which is really matters a lot. Uh, uh, the time has been given very short to me and my presentation is little long. So what I'll do, I'll go through very quickly on what we are adopting in design, you know. Green is instrumental basically and it has to be achieved with many of the front and most of the things are such. From beginning I was uh, doing interior designing and cause we are knowing planning and uh, things like that, I have introduced our firm to architectural practice as well. Our firm is comprises of uh, many uh, architects and interior designers and uh, basically we are a small boutique firm. And here you know we are working with, our, our motto is very clear, we would love to work small. But at the same time whatever we do that actually affects uh, human uh, life a lot. And I think all of our job is that uh, to a greater extent. It is not only aesthetic, but we are making uh, people's life uh, more better. So things are, uh, uh, there are there are few examples and there are few works which we have done, but uh, everywhere, what I'll do while going through the presentation, we'll talk about the uh, normal green practice which is happening. But here our major aim is that, um, uh, this is all theory part, and I think everyone of uh, everyone is knowing this thing, but uh, ma major thing is that green is adopted or achieved by many ways, and major, major, major aspect of green is nowadays, which is the water, because the water is really, really less as far as resource is concerned, and solar energy and material usage and overall design, and I always put the highest concentration on the overall design which we do normally that affects a lot in many a way because if the design itself is such which is required lesser energy then automatically your things would be more greener then you know uh, there is no need to go with very high end things to adopt and uh, then incur the cost and the maintenance and lots of other things. So. Our major concept where we work is, and our, our liking is, less is more. Now when I say less is more, uh, I think you will realize while going through, whatever is needful as far as day-to-day -day affair is concerned, that has been attempted in a way that it will give the beauty and aesthetic in the best way. At the same time, it is saving of lots of material, lots of energy and lots of effort to put into any of the building what we do. Then of course the active and passive solar design which is the most important and it is in our theory of designing which everyone we know. Because we know. that is one thing, if it has been taken care very carefully then a major of the energy has been saved on air conditioning and artificial lighting and everything. Of course, high level of illusion, ventilation and efficient lighting is all the things which we keep on talking about, which we keep on listening about. So many of the things is such which we know everyone we know, but we have to make it in practice. Uh, the second cause it has been, uh, you know, it has been told to me that I have to talk about sustainability and I am not very great into database, I am not very great into something which is theory. So we are the people of practical and then we always think. But because it was the said, I thought let me do some PowerPoint so at least people should take me a little seriously. But I believe that the practice should be green, which is major. Of course, the use of non-toxic material, which narrow leg paint or number of other companies which keep on saying and this is what is the most important. The best part is the awareness has been generated. So 
not only one paint company or not only any uh, particular company in any segment, but now every company is now coming up with this awareness and that is in a larger interest, which is very good. The use of recycle, recyclable and recycled material, which is again one more very important aspect and locally sourced and material, which is all theory part of it. Most of them we are doing, but we, we many of them we are not doing, still the percentage of adopting this practice is not more than 20-30 percent because when it comes to aesthetic, when it comes to satisfaction of our client and when, when it comes to you know we have to prove ourselves like a good designer, we normally introduce somewhere or here and there uh, the, the fancy material, even we do, though we are talking but we do because when people are looking at Italian marble, so we, okay, fine, chalo, yeah, Italian marble, lagate. but then we should know about that from where this marble is coming and what is the entire cost of journey to come to your place. So, I think one cannot say that we are 100%, but of course we keep on trying and I would love to, uh, you know, uh, go through a few of the work where in briefly we'll talk about what we try to do. Now, this is the house which we have made in uh, Baruj, uh, which is neighboring city of Baroda. And again, in all our region, the heat is the major, dry heat and uh, is a major factor of uh, uh, energy which has been consumed through air conditioning. So, majorly the design aspect, what we have adopted is to take care about the major directions and the solar path and wherever is possible we try to work out in a way that we can get the maximum cross ventilation but what happened that this house is of course an example where we have recently surveyed and then they are actually using the natural ventilation which has been given but nowadays what happened in all high-end things we are though everyone of us we are providing cross ventilation but people are using people are keep that close and then you know when we talk about cross ventilation it's actually not happening then we have to adopt all five star rating air conditioning and the uh, uh, good good all energy saving equipments but earlier we have to make ourselves red in that terms to adopt that thing but fortunately this is one project where recently after completion of fifth year we came to know okay they have actually they are enjoying and we have experienced this house in hot summer and we, we then say that okay we have achieved something which is really great because uh, this is all theory part which we have adopted and major shades in the direction of which is really uh, one practice which is really needed to be adopted because at our office also we have experienced because earlier we always thinking about that this is a very expensive affair but the moment we have adopted by ourselves, we realize that though it is really comes of air conditioning, but it is giving natural cooling as well. So uh, there are few things that, of course, the uh, cross ventilation which has been done in a way that the air which is coming through and hot air should pass through on the top of the surface. So there are number of things which has been adopted uh, in each of the plans, I am sure that major of the sensible architects or designer, they are doing this, this practice. We are not the exceptional case. But here, since we have been told to present, we thought, let, let we talk about it, because the new generation which is coming up, and, and new generation is coming up with lots of deconstruction theories, and lots of fancy theories, which is, having huge level of negative spaces and huge level of energy which has been required. And then all the people coming across that, okay, we are the green people and adopt our product. So your entire project will become green. But what's about the negative spaces which is not required? So that's all part of our apart. Uh, these are all the pictures which is or all the diagram which is showing how we have actually tried to save all uh, natural element which is actually heating up the house but at the same time how we can implement the uh, overall uh, uh, surrounding or overall nature which is 
surrounded by this particular bungalow. Because there were lots of trees and we tried to save. And this is one of the example of uh, this neem tree, which was a major factor of our dis our conflict between client and us. Because someday one Vasuwala came in front of them and then he insisted that you should remove this tree. I tell you, number of times these people are these people are socially criminal. The people who are not sensible. I am not against of Vastu. In fact, we are adopting Vastu a large way. But we always think about the science behind the Vastu. And there is lots of science. But if somebody tells me that, okay, fine, cut this tree because it is not uh, suitable, because it is in front of your door. I never understand that the tree came first or we came first. It is the tree was there. It is their land and we are actually putting our things in that, their land. Now, our conflict was, I said, if you would like to remove the tree, you have to remove it. Ultimately, we won and tree also won and this project happened till end. So, that's, that's a great thing which happened and now they are really blessed with these trees because uh, afterwards it has been grown in a way that it has actually covered a major solar radiation. And they are really happy with it. Of course, one thing is that this is neem tree, so a little bit of problem for dusting or, or the leaves thing is there. But I think one has to bear with that kind of thing if they would really love to be green. Otherwise, we all are sophisticated people. Uh, this, as for the time, is less. But if you can see all the images, the things are quite minimal, the things are quite clean. Whatever is not needed is not been kept. No extra furniture, no extra things which is needed. And everything is what the functional. I mean, nothing other than functionality which has been given. And that is what our style of working is, minimalism. And that is what we normally love to. Even though in a huge rooms we have tried to kept the uh, parts. Uh, you know, we could have done that that we could have convinced client not to keep these kind of things and things would look more larger. But I believe that, you know, uh, saving of energy at each level, which is important and which is real green. If you can really save your uh, energy not using extra air conditioning to, to the area which is not needed when it has been used, then it is a big saving. So I think green, is, green should be in practice. This is all water body place kept in a way that uh, the air should get cooler from certain directions. Uh, this is one more house which is very dear to us. It is the peep house. And uh, again, uh, most of the time, majority of the things has been uh, taken care of while creating all passages and the large level of the covering which is in the front and which is on the major side of the area. Now, number of time what happened that our direction, we have been given plot or everyone should have faced the thing is that the house or the things has been placed or